Okay, so I just have a few things that I'd like to touch on um, while I'm up here, while you can all see my face. So first of all, my name is Cullen Johnson. I am a first year student at Mount Allison. Uh, I plan on majoring in political science and minoring in Canadian studies. Um, so a few things that I've been involved in on campus include, because I am a girl catalyst, I'm also the future uh, assistant Don of Campbell next year. Go Geckos. Um, <laughs> So my first point is communication. I think that uh, a lot of what Senate has done has not necessarily uh, let students know what's going on at the time. Um, my best example of that would be the Senate meeting on a Tuesday where um, very few anthropology students showed up and yet they were discussing the future of the anthropology department. Um, well, also at that Senate meeting, I discovered that 320 students were in the first year anthropology class, I believe last year, the year before. Um, so if there had been proper communication, perhaps 300 students would have shown up um, and advocated heavily for that department. So I believe um, for myself, if I were to be elected to Senate, I would focus on making sure that all of the departments were getting all of the accurate and necessary information that they needed to keep students informed and involved on campus. My second point would be cooperation. I know that the social sciences societies have struggled to get um, people involved in, um, in the past and also moving into the future. So that is something to look at, as well as, again, increasing student engagement. And then my last point would be on Indigenous student representation, making sure that Indigenous students are represented. Um, I was shocked to discover this year that uh, my good friend Edmund Morris, who became the Indigenous representative for Campbell Hall, was the very first of his kind. It is the year of Indigenous action, and we should have more people, um, more students being involved in Indigenous uh, representative positions, and I definitely think that's something we need to look at um, in regards to the Senate and implementing one of those. Um, and those are my main points, so please check out my Facebook page if you have any more questions. You'll see me in the question period, and feel free to message me um, directly if you'd like. Thank you. Hello. Uh, thank you for being here, as well as thank you for our hosts for hosting, and to all the other potential senators and candidates also speaking tonight. Uh, my name is Sam Hunter, for those who don't know me, and I'm running for the position of Social Science Center. This past year, I've been serving as a counselor at large on the Massachusetts Student Council, and I hope, with your help, to make the jump and represent the student body as a whole uh, on the Mount Allison Senate as well. I'm currently in my second year here at Mount Allison doing an economics major and a Spanish minor. I'm originally from Vancouver, BC, and have involved in these clubs and societies here, such as SMILE, the Elliott Corral, the Global Brigades, and the Lacrosse Team, as well as sitting on the Student Life and Entertainment Committees on the Massive. There are many topics that I would like to bring to Senate if elected. Chief among them are topics related to Indigenous representation on campus uh, and on the Senate, specifically the addition of a distinct Indigenous Center uh, to have better representation in academic matters. Furthermore, the continued development of the Indigenous Studies course here should also be a priority and possibly with this development into a minor of some sort, or maybe even a major sometime in the future. Secondly, the effect of the new federal funding on experiential learning and how it can be utilized in the social sciences as well as the arts, areas that are not usually as well represented or explored for experiential learning possibilities. Finally, distribution credits and their effect on scholarship GPA, as discussed by previous members already having spoken, and by extension the effect it has on the main premise of the distribution system. As many people currently take courses that will give them better grades than courses that are actually interested in learning about. If distribution credits were not to count towards GPA, uh, the GPA used to assess scholarships, it would be possible for more people to keep them, as well as to try things that truly interest them without fear of this impacting and themselves and losing their scholarships. Um, if you have any questions about anything to do with my campaign, or wish to talk more about your opinions and other things happening around the school or in the social sciences in general, please don't hesitate to ask me whether that be on the public or in the question period very soon. Thank you again for coming out and supporting me and with all the other great candidates tonight. And I hope you take the time to vote this weekend. Thank you. So you might be thinking, wow, Vancouver is a little ways away, isn't it? Well, one of the main reasons I came to Mount Allison University was for the opportunities to get involved. And so in the past couple of years here, I've gotten involved in things like SMILE, I've been assistant Don at Huntington House, I'm a campus ambassador, and most importantly, last year, at the past year, I've been a social science senator. And boy, has it been fun. <laughs> so you might be asking yourselves, why do I want to be a social science senator again? Uh, well, over the past year, I've developed a great interest in academic affairs and student government through this position. 
Uh, I also have a lot to offer you this coming year. Um, so chief among them is I'd like to foster communication and transparency within the Senate caucus. So uh, I would do this through things like an RBC liaison uh, position, whereby an RBC uh, journalist would communicate uh, frequently with senators so that we can more actively represent what we're discussing in Senate. And I also want to develop a more firm social media presence on Facebook and Twitter for the senators. Um, I also want to, through that, I want to extend the opportunity for welcoming feedback uh, so that students can better voice their opinions to the senators. I also want to create a better sense of community within the social sciences themselves. I do this through the creation of the Council of the Social Sciences. So this past year, I've seen how effective the uh, uh, Dean's Council of the Arts has been, and I'd like to emulate that same uh, concept for the social sciences. Um, I, this would be paired along with a mentorship program for uh, so students of the social sciences, for things like internships, courses to take, uh, and different advice. And I also want to develop more uh, support for teachers, assistants, and tutors on campus through the creation of a TA resource center. Um, and so, why should you vote for me? Well, I have experience on Senate, which is invaluable, and I'm passionate and know what can be improved upon. Thank you very much.